Okay, so... Today we're going to be talking about this thing here, gang, right? So, 2H2, sorry, 2H2 plus O2 equals or makes 2H2O. You're a bit confused with this. Well, let's have a look at it as in atoms, right? So, what we have here is we have this here is not this, okay? This here is um h2 plus o is h2 o that's what this this here is okay right so i think what you're stuck on is why do we have a 2 here and why do we have a 2 here well simply the 2 here on this side over here simply means times it by 2 so now what we have is we have h2o h2o so we have two water molecules this is one water molecule and this is another water molecule so if we just wipe the slate clean again so that sorts that out right but the real question is, I think what you're asking is, why do we have this 2 over here, right? And why, if this 2 is over here, why don't we just write H4, right? Why don't we just write H4? Well, the small number here is to do with the bonding. Simply what it means is, hydrogen, which this is, H, H is hydrogen. Hydrogen is something called a diatomic um, yeah, it's called a diatomic uh, atom. Or, sorry, it's a diatomic element. So what does diatomic element mean? It means it goes around in pairs. So if you look, um, when you, you can't see hydrogen, but hydrogen travels around in pairs, in twos. Why is this? Because hydrogen has one electron in its outer shell. And to make a complete outer shell, because this is the first outer shell, all it needs is one more electron. So what happens is it goes and sees another hydrogen, and what they do is they share each other's electrons, okay? So they share each other's electrons, and that's why it's H2, this 2 over here, that's why it's H2, because they travel around in pairs. Let's just wipe the slate clean, right? So now we know that this 2 literally just means multiply this here by 2. So simply now what we have is we have uh we have hydrogen so H2 and we also have another hydrogen H2 and now we have oxygen O2 right and now it says add these together, right? And this makes uh, 2H2O. How, though? How does it make 2H2O? Well, simply, let's see what we've got. So, to make, to make H2O, forget about that too. To make H2O, what we need is we need two hydrogen and one oxygen. So, we can take this two hydrogen here and one oxygen over here and then that can make an h2o so that can make h2o and then we can take two hydrogen here and one oxygen here and also make it h2o so now we have two water molecules two times h2o right so yeah that that's literally that's basically it right but if you want to know why this 2 is here in the first place right so why is this here in the first place why do we need this right well let's forget let's sorry let's forget about this for a moment okay let's forget about that for a moment um, and let's just go back to basics so let's go um, Let's go 
H2 plus O2 equals H2O, right? Not equals, I shouldn't put equals, sorry, that's very bad of me. Because that is incorrect, so it is H2 plus O2 is H2O, right? So this this here is not balanced. Why is it not balanced, right? So let's have a look at the molecules on this. Sorry, let's have a look at the atoms on this side, on this side over here. Why? So how many atoms are there on this side over here? Well, there's H2, so that's already two atoms, and then there's one oxygen atom, so that's three atoms, right? But when we have a look over here, we have H2, so that's already two atoms. Plus O2, so that's another two atoms. So that's four atoms. What happened to the other atom, right? Where did atom go, right? So simply, atom can't go anywhere, right? So if we have four atoms over here, there has to be four atoms over here, right? So what we do is we do something called balancing. And to do balancing, we just we just add numbers in front of the um, in front of our product and our reactants um, to balance the equation. So if we have four on here and three on here, how can we balance it, right? Well, let's have a look, right? So two hydrogen here, two oxygen here, two hydrogen here one oxygen here what can we do well what we can do is we can times this by two and if we times this sorry if we times this by two what we now have is we have um h2 plus o so that's three but we also have another h2 plus o so that's six right so now we've got six here and four here but that is still not correct, right? So what do we have to do on this side? What's missing? Well, we've got two oxygen here. And as well as that, we've got two oxygen here. Because, this, because the oxygen is times by two, remember? Let me just make this a bit more simple, right? Um, when we put the two over here, we times this, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to do H2O h2o there we go so now we've got six atoms on this side but on this side we only have four atoms right so how do we balance it again right so let's have a look at oxygen right do we have enough oxygen well we have two oxygen over here and over here we have two oxygen so oxygen's fine we don't have to worry about oxygen hydrogen though we've got two hydrogen here but oh We've got four hydrogen on this side. This is not good, right? So what do we do? What do we do to solve this? We simply times that by two. So now what we've got is got two times H2, meaning on this side, we now have four hydrogen molecules and two, sorry, four hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms. And here we've got four hydrogen atoms and two oxygen atoms which is correct on this side we have six atoms and on this side we have six atoms this equation has been solved so got any questions remember just ask me and i'll try to help you with that so thank you